All right, let's talk a little bit about aging and the reproductive system. All right, wrinkles. So as people age, the skin gets more wrinkled on the face, on the hands, on feet. So if it's getting wrinkled there, it's getting wrinkled other places as well, including on the scrotum, on the pelvic area, on the breasts, and more. So what are some changes? So if you are a person who has a penis, these might be some changes you experience. You could have sagging of the scrotal sac, so uh, sagging down lower as you age, a decrease in penis size. Uh, the penis may end up more curved, and that's kind of related to some buildup of scar tissue. Uh, you might have some erectile dysfunction. That means the ability to get an erection or sustain an erection. Um, also, penile cancer and prostate cancer are things that can happen in someone who has a penis. What if you have a uterus, ovaries, a vagina? What are some changes you might expect in your body? Well, one of the things you can see here is breast sagging, which is fairly typical. But let's look at some other things that might occur as you age. So breast sagging, that's the what we just talked about, but vaginal dryness, so there's less lubrication, a shorter or narrower vagina. So intercourse that may have been um, not painful before may become painful due to the change in shape, size, and lubrication of the vagina. Also, various types of cancer, including breast and ovarian cancer, and also uh, an increased risk for UTIs. Hormone levels typically decrease as people age, whether you are a primary estrogen producer or whether you are a primary testosterone producer. Remember that it doesn't matter what your uh, genitalia are, everyone has levels of testosterone and estrogen, just uh, varying levels, okay? But as we age, those levels tend to drop regardless. What can indicate low hormone levels in all people, regardless of genitalia? Things like decreased libido, that means not being interested in sex as much, mood swings, depression, headaches, night sweats, insomnia, weight gain, fatigue, bone loss. That's across the board, regardless of your genitalia, regardless of your internal and external reproductive parts. But estrogen in people with ovaries does this dramatic drop, okay? So you can see right here that before puberty, it's fairly low levels. Um, and then we have a skyrocketing level of estrogen, okay, uh, later in puberty, all right? And then that stays sustained relatively high until you get to menopause. And then there is a rapid drop um, and then pretty much non-existent levels of estrogen after that point. So you can see before menopause, okay, this is the beginning of menopause. Once menopause happens, we really have little to no estrogen production. So menopause occurs in people with ovaries. When does it typically begin? 45 to 55 years of age, the hormone decline is rapid. So that production of estrogen rapidly ceases. So what are some signs and symptoms of menopause? Forgetfulness, hot flashes, nausea, heart palpitations, irregular periods, which will eventually cease, vaginal dryness, joint aches and pain, okay? Which is why one of the things that is uh, looked at is some hormonal replacement. So trying to introduce some estrogen back in since that production really slows. Testosterone in people with testicles still drops, okay? So still is occurring. However, 
the drop is not as dramatic. So you can see around the ages of 50 to 60, you see there's still a significant amount of testosterone being produced, unlike in a person with ovaries who has gone through menopause um, in that 45 to 55 year age range where it starts. So instead of being called menopause, it's called andropause because androgens, that includes testosterone. So that's gonna occur in people with testicles. So remember, it doesn't matter what your internal and external reproductive anatomy is, your hormone levels are going to drop as you age. So when does andropause begin? Well, in the late 40s to early 50s. So we're talking a similar time frame but the hormone decline is slow, unlike with menopause where the hormone decline is rapid. So some of those telltale signs like hot flashes and heart palpitations may not occur, but that does not mean there are not still symptoms of andropause. So what are some of the signs and symptoms of andropause? Low motivation, lack of focus, low energy, muscle loss, erectile dysfunction. If you think about it, it makes sense. Those are some of the things that testosterone is literally responsible for. Some people try hormone replacement therapy to alleviate their symptoms. So replacing some of the estrogen, replacing some of the testosterone to mitigate those negative effects of the hormone levels declining. So hormone replacement therapy may help. Talk to your doctor. There are a lot of options uh, and you kind of have to find what's right for you. And it all depends on how you are experiencing menopause or andropause and whether or not uh, you should consider hormone replacement therapy. And that is a little bit about aging and the reproductive system. I hope you learned something new today.